Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry I've been so quiet for the last two weeks. I was man down with the flu or a cold or something, but feeling much better now. Um, got some Patreon shoutouts, so thanks so much for the following people for supporting the channel. Zach and Eli, Paul de Courtier, Robert Barden and Jeremiah Rutledge. With your guys' support I'm able to upgrade my equipment. So I've got a new microscope at the back here, which hopefully we'll be able to use later in the video. Let's go find some fossils. I just found this rock. It's quite a big one, big concretion. It's got a really good shape. And there's something sticking out the front there. And I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> it's about a 10 kilogram rock. Or maybe about eight kilograms. What's that, 17 pounds? So yeah, I'll take it back. And then we can try and just expose a little bit more of that that little side over there, see what's going on inside there. Don't know what it could be. Maybe it's something good, <laughs> maybe it's not. We'll figure it out together though. That's a heavy rock for a maybe. <laughs> Just found this rock and it's got a, a picton, a bivalve inside it. Both sides of it actually. There's the one side and there's the other side. I don't think I've ever found one like this. That's really cool. There's a really nice crab down there. I've looked at it already. Beautiful little some beautiful colors on there. Here's a, a lens of four amps in here. But I think I see some fish here bones. I'm gonna take this back and then we can see if we see anything under the microscope. It's gonna take this whole chunk of cliff along. <laughs> Here's another crab I found. It's got such a cool texture on it. There's the claw sticking out and a little bit of the other one. Quite a unique one. Here are the two crabs I found today. I quite like this one. I like finding the ones that are mostly exposed by Mother Nature. It's missing some of the top there. And then this one as well. It's uh, a little bit worse for wear, so it's missing the top of the carapace over there. 
there's a claw sticking out there, it's also missing a little bit on the claw. It's weird, it's a it's quite a weird shape, it's not symmetrical, so I wonder what's happening on this side. I like the pattern the shell's making on the top there, it's really cool. Here's my new stereo microscope that I'm going to use to have a look at that block, hopefully containing some forearms. And you can see it's got an extra port at the back here, and I've mounted a camera there. So that's a camera that's going through the back. What's really cool about it is that I can look through uh, these two lenses and at the same time record, whereas before I had to stop <laughs> looking through here and actually just put the camera through a lens. And this one's got slightly better magnification. It can go to 90 times magnification where my old one could only go 45 times. And this one's also got a variable zoom, whereas the other one could only do, I think, 7 times, 16 times, and 40 times, where this one has got a smooth uh, zoom from 1 to 90. So it can be anywhere in between. Well, let's see if there's any fossils inside there. Cody has printed some of my 3D models as you can see here and he's done a great job. He's also written a book so I'll put the link in the description of this video and go check that out as well. Thanks so much for joining me on that hunt everyone. I hope you enjoyed uh, finding the few crabs I did and also that really cool uh, slab full of those forearms and so much fun looking at them under the new microscope. Loving the new microscope. <laughs> Stay safe out there and I'll see you all on the next hunt.